Horizontal directional drilling, commonly referred to as HDD, is a surface-to-surface -surface installation technique that is comprised of three primary stages, including pilot bore, reaming, and product pipe installation. This method of construction is typically used to install pipelines in areas not amenable for open-cut construction, including major water bodies, wide or busy highways, railroads, environmentally sensitive areas, and urban environments. During construction, no disruption occurs to any feature being crossed by the HDD installation. With proper design and good HDD construction practices, the HDD method allows for the installation of pipelines with no impacts to the crossing features. Limited workspace is established on both sides of the crossing to house the necessary drilling equipment and to facilitate product pipe string fabrication. These sites are cleared and leveled to facilitate drilling operations. Silt fencing and other erosion control measures are placed around the site. If necessary, sound curtains are erected at the drilling sites for noise mitigation. The drill rig and power unit is placed into position on the drill alignment. A drill pipe skid is positioned next to the drill rig. A small entry pit, approximately five to six feet deep, is excavated at the front of the drill rig to collect drilling fluid returns. A separation plant, holding tanks, and drilling fluid pumps are set up and plumbed with the drill rig. A control cabin is placed immediately next to the drill rig. This cabin houses the controls used to control the drill rig and track the drill bit location. Drilling of the pilot bore commences by pushing and rotating drill pipe connected to the drill bit along a predetermined path from the drill rig entry location towards the exit side located on the far side of the crossing. A mixture of water and bentonite clay, referred to as drilling fluids, is continuously pumped through the drill pipe to the cutting tools where it mixes with the soil or bedrock cuttings. This mixture flows back to the drill rig location carrying the entrained cuttings where it is transferred to a separation plant to remove the cuttings and recycle the fluid component for reuse downhole. Aside from assisting in removal of cuttings, the drilling fluids also serve to stabilize the bore, cool the cutting tools, and lubricate the pipe string. As the pilot bore is advanced, a tracking system is used to locate the position and orientation of the drill bit. Steering adjustments are completed by the drill rig operator to maintain the design alignment. When the drill bit exits the ground surface on the far side of the crossing, the pilot bore stage of the installation process is complete. The pilot bore is typically enlarged by pulling reaming tools of successively larger diameter from the exit location back towards the drill rig location. Depending upon the diameter of the product pipe, multiple passes with reamers of increasing diameter may be required to incrementally enlarge the pilot bore to its final diameter. Upon completion of the full reaming passes, the condition of the HDD bore is assessed by completing what is known as a swab pass. The pass consists of pushing or pulling a slightly smaller diameter reamer through the fully reamed bore from start to finish. The diameter of the swab pass is typically smaller than the full reamed diameter, but greater than the diameter of the product pipe to be installed. Like the pilot bore drilling process, drilling fluids are continuously pumped through the drill pipe to the cutting tools where it mixes and entrains the soil or bedrock cuttings into the fluid. This fluid aids in removal of the cuttings, continues to stabilize the bore, cool the cutting tools, and lubricates the pipe string. Sections of product pipe are transported and positioned at the HDD exit location. The pipe sections are then welded together to form a completed pipe string. Coatings are applied to welds and tests are completed to ensure proper coating application. The product pipe string is then pressure tested with water, drained, and placed on pipe rollers. Pipe rollers and cranes, or side booms, are used to assist the pullback process. The rollers and slings used in conjunction with the lifting equipment not only provide support for the fully fabricated pipe string, 
but also help reduce the amount of friction acting on the section of pipe above ground, and reducing the overall amount of force required to pull the product pipe into the bore. The rollers and equipment are also used to position the product pipe to match the angle of the bore where the pipe enters the ground surface. Upon completion of the reaming process and once the product pipe string is completely fabricated and welds x-rayed and coated, the final stage of the installation process, pullback, can begin. The pullback process consists of pulling the fabricated product pipe from the pipe entry location towards the drill rig. The HDD installation is complete when the product pipe reaches the drill rig location. Final checks and surveys are completed on the installed product pipe. With the completion of the pullback operations, the drilling equipment is demobilized and the work sites are restored to pre-existing conditions.